assignment time. So your assignment is as follows. Each one of these shapes should have a uniformed checker pattern on them. Okay, So you're going to finish out the rest of the shapes and you're going to mark the seams correlating to those. I have some tricky situations that I'm going to be covering later, but I still want you to try them to see what happens. Okay. When you're done, I want you to organize this very neatly. Uh, you know, in other words, all these shapes should be nicely lined up. Okay, so I'm going to put these off. And we're going to use this red line and say this red line is the ground. Okay. Just like that. So now they're all neatly laid out. Also, they must all they must all show the checker pattern. And after that, duplicate every one of them, put them right next to each other, and the the copy has to show the procedural type texture. Now that means that you have to go out on the internet and find a procedural type of texture. Okay, I don't care where you get it. I just want to make sure that you know what a procedural type texture is. We're not selling these things. and uh, I'm not right, really into the royalty-free stuff right yet because, again, we're not selling this stuff. This is for educational use only. So. Okay, in this fact, I'll have to shift D, move that. And then this one would get the other. Just like that, side by side. That's what I want to see. And also have it in texture mode when I have it open. Okay, now what do you have to turn in? Let me save this project. Let me look at the folder. Not that folder. Here's my unit one Jason Walsh. In it, I should only have this. I'm going to get rid of this one. This is a JPEG image I'm not using. Here's my leather. You can use rust, you can use steel, whatever's uniformed, whatever's procedural. Here's my UVs, and here is my project scene. Okay, You can see this is my main one, and this, these are the autosaves. So I can keep the autosaves in there. What I want you to do is take this directory. When you are all done, everything's lined up, everything's got textures on it, go in here, right click, send to compressed zip folder. Now you can do that on a Mac too by right click compress. So here we go. That's the one I want you to turn in to me. The zip format. Alright. So that is it. That concludes this assignment for Unit 1. Um, when you're done with it, proceed to Unit 2. Hope you had fun. See you there.